we have yet another ocr model on our hands this time it is light on ocr which is a new end-to-end -end vision language model built specifically for optical character recognition tasks that is turning images of documents into structured editable text this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot in this video, we are going to install this light on OCR on our local system and we will test it out. One of the things which really struck me about this model is that unlike most OCR systems that use complex multi-step pipelines, which means detecting text boxes, cropping, recognizing, then merging the results, this one, the light on OCR, does everything in one shot. It's a single trainable neural network that combines a high resolution vision transformer from Mistral's Pixtral with a Quen3 based language model through a compact multimodal projection layer. And that design makes it fully differentiable and incredibly efficient as per the benchmarking information which they have shared on their model card and I will drop the link to it in video's description. I will be talking more about it but for now let's get this Apache 2 model installed on our local system. This is my Ubuntu and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. If you're looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on a very very affordable price you can find the link to masked compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPU so please do check them out. Okay so let's first install uv if you don't know how to install uv this is a simple command which you can run and then source uv and then you can create a virtual environment with uv and then activate it that is done and once <clears throat> that's done you can install vllm which is a very fast highly scalable inference engine and i'm just going to install it with this command if you don't know what vllm is you can just go to my channel and search with VLLM. I have done full tutorial on VLLM and I'm sure you are going to enjoy it a lot. Meanwhile, that installs VLLM. Let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are our good friends at iGent. iGent is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application, empowering you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks. And VLLM is still being installed. While it installs, let's talk a bit more about this model and its architecture. I think this is something we should be focusing more these days because there are so many. So we need to find out how this one differentiate. So this model is capable of reading complex layouts and we will check, check it out shortly. Under the hood, this was trained through knowledge distillation, meaning it learned from massive 17.6 million page synthetic data set transcribed by a much larger teacher model, which was Quen2 VL72 billion. The data set rendered from PDFs at native resolution and standardized in markdown format gives the model a strong grasp of structure, equation, and layout semantic. The team also introduced various other techniques like vocabulary pruning, where they cut down Quen3's token set from 151k to just 32k for English-French tasks to improve speed without losing accuracy. And the result is this lean open source OCR model that's fast and hopefully accurate, easy to fine tune for specific domains and highly adaptable. And that is what we are going to test out in this video. And VLLM is installed. Let's also install some of the other prerequisites required. And then I'm going to serve this light on AI on uh, OCR on my local system. And the model is being downloaded. This is the first time it will download the model. And the model is being downloaded. The size is quite small. And model is now being served on our, our local system. Now let me show you how to do inference with it. Okay, so before that, I'll just quickly show you my VRAM consumption as the model is fully loaded onto the GPU. So it is using 44, over 44, 45 gig of VRAM. It's a, um, 
I will also flush it and we will check it out again. So I was quite surprised to see that, but maybe it is also using something else. So I will just run it and we will go from there. So this is a script which I'm going to use. And all I'm doing, I'm accessing that VLLM endpoint. And then this is my local PDF file, which I'm going to use. So this is a PDF file which contains images. It contains um, this tabular sort of data. And then this is again a table with rows and columns and some other unstructured data. Too. So it is pretty rich PDF file. Let's go back and then let me run this. And there you go. It has produced the result. And if I quickly compare some of it, and you can see that this is a heading, so it has missed the image, which is fine. But we will just go here and check. So it has got that bit right. I'll just make try to make it a bit smaller so that we could try to compare. So that bit is fine. And then for inference frustration, this is a heading. And then it is going about the other paragraph. So if I quickly check, looks pretty good to me. Yep, that's right. Let's check the individual features. And this is a scalable AI. This is a frustration. Yep, it has grabbed it right. And just because I'm not displaying all of it, so that is why it has cut it down. Let me try to display all of the data because I want to see especially this final table here. And I have just done the third page of this PDF file and you can see that it has extracted all the text and it has tried to put it in the tabular format. Looks pretty good to me as far as the rows and columns and the extracted data is concerned. And of course we can just change it into a markdown format and it has also identified there is an image towards the end. Okay, so this is pretty good. I actually like the way it is performing. Let me quickly show you the VRAM consumption as I have flushed the GPU. There you go. So it has again jumped to over 44 gig of VRAM. Uh, I have even restarted my system. I'm very surprised with the VRAM consumption, why it is jumping to um, around 45 gig of VRAM for just a 1 billion parameter model. Anyway, let's try out a few more PDFs. Next up, I'm going to check out this invoice with all the tabular data and all that. Let's run this. And the speed is also not bad. Ah, sorry, I didn't put it in my file name. And here is another quality um, result. As you can see, it has captured everything. And I can tell you that it hasn't really missed a beat here. Really good. So the quality of response is quite good. I'm quite happy about it. The only thing is that it should be efficient in terms of VRAM consumption because it's a new VM, nothing else is running. I have restarted it, but even then 45 gig of VRAM, too high. As it is based on Quen, which is multilingual, so I have just done this Arabic OCR and this is the result. I'm not really sure, so I'll just show it to you again, sorry. And please check and let me know what do you think about this. Let me show you the Arabic again. So visually checking, I mean, it looks okay to me, but I will leave it to our Arabic speaking friends to let us know how did the model do. Next up, I'm testing this equation, some scientific notations and some charts and graphs to see how this performs. Let's go back and run this. And there you go, it has come back with the response. I'll just show it to you again. Let's, you know, focus maybe on this one after statistic statistical analysis. And there you go. So not bad at all. I think it has tried to capture all the images. It has at least put it in. And then it is going through section by section. It is putting in the equation in LaTeX format. Yeah. So, so look, the quality of the model is really good. No doubt about that. The only thing is memory footprint. Other than that, really good stuff. Just 1 billion parameter model, Apache 2 license. What more you could ask for? That's it. Plus, um, check it out. Let me know what you think. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.